award, I would have to say the most important teaching or revelation in the entire Bible and the scriptures is discerning, understanding, and rightly dividing and applying the blood that Jesus Christ shed now. You can't overemphasize this enough. You know, I study people. I study the situations people are in. When you're in the ministry, you have to learn how to unravel people's brains. <laughs> so I don't say that lightly. And I would have to say the average believer Christian that's washed in the blood, that's born again, does not understand the importance and the power and the application of the blood. So November 21st, 9 p.m. live on YouTube, I'm going to teach on the precious blood. Now, I was going to do it last Monday, but I took you to the cross. If you missed it, check out the live replay. I ministered and taught on the cross. But this Monday, I'm going to tell you and teach you and instruct you what took place on the cross. That's where Jesus shed his blood, guys. So November 21st, 9 p.m. East Coast, New York, live on YouTube. And we are going to partake in communion as a digital family so i'm announcing it <coughs> forgive me so you have the elements ready the body the bread his body was broken hallelujah by his stripes we were healed we are healed <coughs> father touched his cough and then the blood if you want to use grape juice whatever your conviction is paul said when you enter into communion or symbolically, metaphorically identifying with the Last Supper. He said, examine yourself. So make sure your hearts examine. Bless the Lord. Jesus said, this is the cup of the new covenant. This is the blood that was shed for many, then it, then it is shed for all. Now, if you're still on, there was a live deliverance we did on TikTok. There was almost 20,000 people that came in, over 19,000 and change. And as people were coming in, we were inviting people to accept pe people to get born again, giving the gospel. We were instructing people if they wanted to come back and rededicate their life. And it blew up because sometimes people see how real the devil is and then the fear of the lord comes upon them bless the lord check out those live deliverances i just put them on the youtube channel the next day we were in a live deliverance with a different person that i have never in all my ministry seen anything like this this was a completely different level and i would venture to say there's a lot of people that are saved that also need deliverance. Why? Your spirit's born again. Your flesh is your flesh. Your soul is your intellect. But they, they do need deliverance. And I'm not going to get into it, please. It's a whole other teaching. Can a Christian be demon-possessed or be demonized? Certainly, a Christian at the least can be demonized. The Bible says, if the house is swept clean, They'll come back. There'll be someone who'll be seven times worse if you don't live for Jesus by his grace. So I'll see you November 21st. The blood of Jesus. I love you guys. Amen.